What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another banger today, guys, on a very special vid, man. It's been a video we've been waiting for, I've been waiting for, for the past three years. And that video is that I finally hit on Nike's sneaker app. Yes, I hit on Nike sneaker app and it was a journey to actually get these, which we also wanted to bring another discussion to the table and that is FedEx. Now I did a video on my secondary channel, Too Wild for TV, that you guys can go and check out, where customers have been claiming that their packages were being stolen by FedEx. And more specifically for the off-white Nike Dunk collaboration, that lot of 50. This is not a lot of 50, but it is of a Nike Dunk. I actually purchased these seven days ago, I want to say. No, no, I purchased them more than that. They shipped seven days ago. I live in Atlanta. Tennessee is right above me. These actually didn't even ship out of Memphis. They shipped from Texas, and it took seven days to get here. It actually got stuck somewhere in York, Alabama for like four days. I don't know why, but with that going on, alongside with the rumors and the the accusations and claims of FedEx actually stealing packages out there, it started to raise my anxiety up a little bit. And I actually contacted FedEx during that time. I made tweets about it. I was making a big ruckus about it. And I was going to wait till I actually unbox this video to go out there and make a tweet to clear things up. Because as much as bad energy I had to put out there, I got to put the good energy. I got to put, when FedEx comes through, I got to make sure it's be known. When FedEx does not go through, I need to make sure that it's known as well. Because trust me, there's tons of times out there where I or other people will say stuff like that and then never let it be known what actually went down. Did you actually get your package? So you're just sitting there with a tweet saying, FedEx stole my package and then you end up getting it and you never clear up that actual statement. But Nike, please man, get rid of this Nike just do it bro. Like this is insane. You feel me? Like insane. I do not understand the reason. Did y'all buy a million rolls of this and y'all are just trying to, you know, get rid of it before you go out there and you know start getting something new I, I don't know but as i stated it took seven days to get this now to the nike sneaker side of things it took three years for me to finally get a w on my nike sneakers account it's gotten to the point now where i just don't even really try i fall asleep on releases i don't even care but i have been told from several people out there to get on the app more start watching the videos skim through them start voting start interacting more and more with the app, especially right around when releases are starting to pop up. Now, this could be all conspiracy. It could be all rumors. It could be all speculations. Now, like I said before, three years of L's constantly. You've seen them. I've been a part of them with you guys on Twitter. I finally went and interacted on the app. I looked at videos, the stories and all that, the videos, the pictures. I interacted as much as possible on this release and I won. So call it a speculation, call it a coincidence. It is what it is. The release I hit a W on is the release that I actually interacted on the sneakers app. I don't know and that's about it. Now, without further ado, let's get into the kicks. But Nike, bro, you guys gotta do better, bro. I mean, y'all not gonna do better. Like the obvious here is the tape and y'all not even listening on that. But FedEx, you guys out there jugging, I don't know what is going on, but it is what it is. Check it out. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I saw that AF1 right there and I'm like, what? I didn't see the dunk on top. I actually recently got something now. I don't know if that video's gonna drop before, so I can't talk too much about it. But I got something of a very similar fashion. Now we had the dunk versus the Air Force One undefeated. I'm just gonna open this up right in front of my face. I'm not even gonna look on it because I know what I got, but I don't know if maybe something weird happened. Let's just make sure everything is good as it should be. Three, two, one. Uh oh. Ooh. Ah! The Nike. Undefeated Dunk. These are hard, bro. A lot of y'all out there did not like them. A lot of people think that they're ugly. And oh my gosh. 
This is the this, so the last time I hit on a pair of dunks on Nike sneakers, whatever you want to call it. The last time I got dunks from Nike, actual Nike, not like resale or anything. Well, was of the Nike Tiffany High dunks. It's the last time I actually got a W. But we got here these right here. I love the colorway. I love the blue. I love the purple. The snakeskin features on here is awesome as well. The material, the embroidery. You have a little bit of leather. You have some nubuck. You have some canvas. And you have some real nice slate as well on the Nike swoosh. Undefeated. Two sets of extra laces in the yellow and the piss pink. It's going to say piss pink, but piss yellow. And you got that yellow midsole that kind of gives you that vintage type of ordeal. Undefeated logo right there. Undefeated also on this one. They didn't switch it up. I would have thought they would. Undefeated on the back end. I like these a lot, man. The leather material, A1 steak salt. I don't even remember how much I paid for them. 120 Nike Dunk Low SP. No SB. This SP, you feel me? But hey, it is what it is. I finally hit on something and I can't even lie to you. Hitting, I'm still like a little bit like phase you feel me like at the end of the day bro it is what it is it took me three years though to finally hit on something of some sort of significance and to each his own even though i hit hey i still got beef with you nike it's still it's still on and popping you ain't gonna give me one w and then disappear for another five years or give me one w and think things are just okay you feel me i got beef and i'm gonna continue to have that beef shoe itself quality looks really good and for 120 dollars on the dunk in immaculate check out the back right there you see that tongue god forbid they ever try to raise the price up even more on dunks especially when they know that the 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 demand is there you know but to each his own you got crocodile dundee nutsack on the up right here gilligan's island leather right there fresh cape patty melt grape juice on the side got a little bit of that smoke that old grandpa smoking his cigar color right there and this blue, blue balls, straight up. These remind me of, uh, I forgot her name. The, the girl the, that they ate the blueberry and turned into a big ass, you know, ball of blue, blueberry juice on the uh, Willy Wonka show and they had to roll her out. The Oompa Loopas had to roll her out. You know what I mean? It kind of just makes me look like Violet. What was her name? Something Violet or something? I, I can't remember. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I love that bottom. That purple, Steve Urkel. Smoking on that perk pipe. And then you got that midsole that's like piss yellow, man. It is what it is. I think I'm going to keep the, the laces as is. Definitely something I'm going to keep in the collection. I like the yellow. It would make it pop like insane, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But to each his own. But yeah, man. Salutes to Nike for finally blessing your boy. For all the money I dropped with you guys, you finally came out and give me something. It's been three years. Comment down below how long it's been for you. Because I know y'all guys, it's probably been more than that. But hey, have some sort of hope. I hit after three years, so it's still available. I was, I'm not gonna lie, and still ain't gonna lie. I was thinking about making another account. <sighs> no balance. I was thinking about making another account. Like, I is is getting to that. Hold on. Saturn so Tone Studio Blue. I think that would affect fit the mood a little bit better. Man, lady, Turn Tone Studio Blue. Turn Tone Studio the Daylight. Oh my God. Sorry, I don't know. Turn light panels to daylight. That is way better for the vibe right there. Oh my gosh, I missed out big time. But anyways, I was at the point where I was gonna make a whole new account, but I didn't. So don't give up hope. There's a chance out there for everyone. But definitely something I'm gonna wear. I think I'm gonna put these on soon. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get these on and popping straight up. Nike on the back, Nike dunk low. Hit on the sneakers app. It is what it is, but be on the lookout and watch out for FedEx. Stay on top of them guys. I don't know what's going on and Nike needs to do something ASAP when it comes to that tape. So yeah, guys, I wanted to share these with y'all. Three years in the making, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I get some more down the road. But I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming soon, man. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.